Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have four quick unboxings and first impressions to do for you guys and gals today. And first, I'm going to say thank you, subscribers. Thank you, channel members. And thank you, patrons. You are all freaking amazing. So to, bel to belittle belabor, <laughs> to make it a little shorter, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the box and then magically reappear. And voila. By the way, if you weren't sure what this was, this is the Kaiser Mini Roach. This is the version with the flip tab removed and this is the flipper version with the flipper on it flipper 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 <laughs> if you want to know how to remove the flipper you can go check out my video and you know what i like it both ways but if you're not a flipper fan who mama is this comfortable anyway back to the knives we're here to see i will have links in the description to every knife you see in this video so if you want to go check it out you can go check it out or you can get one or whatever you want to do. It's a free world, free country, right? All right, so let's check these out. These I'm excited to see. Now, one of them, okay, they both. They All the new Kaisers I've been getting have been coming with complete new hardware. That is freaking amazing. And they also come with a nice cleaning cloth too, in case you didn't know. I got to remember, some folks, this is their first time seeing a knife video. Can you imagine? Do you can remember when that was like for you? And here we go. Pow, right in the kisser. Oh, mama, check that out. That is pretty sweet. Ooh, frag pattern micarta. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's go all the way around, give you a look all the way around. And so this is going to be a shorter version than you guys and gals are used to because, well, you know, adulting happened. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it on the live stream, but... Nice looking pocket clip. It's not inset, but there's no screws, so there's no no mushrooms growing in the shade. Um, nice strong pocket clip. These usually go in and out of the pocket just fine, and yes, it is going in and out of the pocket just fine. Now I will say that it's a little just a tad rough on this on this frag pattern, so it is definitely not going to come out of your pocket. Let me give you a up nice and close look here. A little bit of texture vision. Everyone loves the texture vision. Would you look at it? It feels really good. It's not rough. Yeah, that looks really nice. It feels really nice. I love the black micarta. They all Kaiser's they always does such a great job on their micarta. And look at this jimping. That's the jimping I love. You already know. That's my favorite. Yes. Loving the micarta and loving the jimping. Now, let's check out the blade. Pa pow Right in the kisser. Ooh, would you look at it? That is an awesome blade shape. I'm telling you what. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you some comparisons because, let's see. Here is the October full size, the regular October. And I'll show you comparisons here in just a minute. Freaking love this one, too. So this is going to be a lighter weight version. And, ooh, it feels good. You're going to be able to pinch it open. Let's go all the way down one side and up the other and check it out. Look, here's your blade finish. Look at that black stone wash. That is very nice. Very, very nice. Looks like it has a nice grind on it. We'll cut a piece of paper here in just a second. 154 CM blade steel. And there's your model number. And going all the way down this beautiful... Oh, what? Check this out. Well, you got to be kidding me. It's a reversible. A reversible deep carry pocket clip. Yes. Oh my goodness, so many knives lately I've been looking at are not reversible. I carry a knife in my right and left pocket, and it lim it limits me to what I can carry in my left pocket safely if it's not left-hand carry. Would you look at that? That is awesome. That is huge. It's huge. <laughs> and you can see on the inside, it's milled out milled out for weight reduction. Pow, 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 pow. Very nice. And the liners, no roof, no roof edges. <laughs> I know rough edges. Oh my goodness. Yes. So it's a smaller knife, but you're able to get a full purchase on it. The size of my hand is four inches, three and a half. And then from bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, is seven and a quarter. Look at that. This is a nice cutter. Ooh. And look at that. Your, your thumb. Boom. It's made for it. It's like, just put her there, man. And then if you want to choke back, Back here, this jimping is really nice. I could go for a little, just a tad bigger jimping. Just a tad. A little more aggression. If you're going to give me jimping, make it useful. I mean, it is useful. I could go for just maybe a, the, a tad more space. Not much. Not much. And that's just a little bitty nitpicking. And here's this side. It's the October Mini. And it's a D-O-C-K design. And we'll go all the way up and down this side. It's a very attractive knife. Are we solid? Yes, it is solid. 
No blade play left to right. Is it centered? Of course it's centered. And what is our lockup? Lockup's right there in the middle where you want it. Very nice. Very, very nice. The deployment on this is really good. Let's see if we can do a push button. Yeah, you can. You really can. Now, look at this. When you have this in your pocket, you're not going to have any pocket pecker in your way. No, nothing sticking out. So if you carry in your right hand pocket, I don't carry anything in my right pocket other than another knife down at the bottom. So I end up not reaching past my main carry every day. But if you are and you don't like flipper tabs because of that, this flipper tab is not going to get in the way when it's in your pocket. It's very easy to grab onto and yeah, couple little jibs. I mean, you might as well just go all the way around with it, you know, just to, in my humble opinion, but it's super snappy. And can I reverse flick? Oh, yes, I can. I already know I can. Yes, very nice. So there isn't a lot of room on there, but I'm able to easily, easily reverse flick it. And what are, yes, pass through. You know, I'm always going to check for the pass through. There's your pass through. There's no jimping on it or anything, but there's plenty of room to get to it. I don't have to use my fingernail. I don't have to dig my finger in there. It's easy to do. Deploy. It's easy to disengage. So I really appreciate that. Let's um, look at this. Ergos. No hot spots. This is if you want a smaller knife. This is going to be comfortable. And let's see here. Our blade is coming in right right around two and a half. You know, a hair maybe past two and a half inches. So it's not a long knife. Here's a six inch ruler. It's not going to be much more than that. This right here is such a comfortable hold. This is a nice. I mean, it is lightweight. I like it. Let's check out the other one. Here is the green frag pattern in G10. Ooh, that is nice looking. Check it out. Ooh, this one. Yeah, you know what? I'm finding a theme here. The ones, the ones that I've been getting lately with the black stone wash, they're a little rougher just right out of the box. But that's because the detent has to make its own little track in the stone wash. Once that happens, it's going to be just as smooth. But this one is a little more snappy. And you know what's what's the action on this one? What's the drop? So you have to give it a little bit of help. And I'm sure, you know, I'm, I, you guys know I'll come back to it. We'll get a disassembly going. I usually disassemble every knife that I show. Today, we're not going to have time to do that. But yeah, a couple shakes on that one. This one, one little shake and you are good to go. So this one is, a, is very snappy. And no blade play. It's centered. Your lockup is good. The, boy, these are comfortable, very comfortable. So these these two Octobers will run you um, on uh, Amazon or or on uh, Mojave Outdoor. <laughs> I have 10% discount codes to so many places on so many things. Go check out the description of all my videos. All the knives that you see will be listed in there and 10% out with, with my code. These will run you around 66 bucks, which is an excellent deal. Now I'm going to show it to you with a couple other knives and then the, the October. Here's the CJRB Mylea, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite small knives of all times, and the CJRB More Mylea, and it is More Mylea. Here's the Spyderco Delica 4. So many people are very familiar with the Delica 4, and you gotta, I mean, you have to have a QSP Penguin, right? How long have I been saying it? You have to get you one, and they're like still the same price. They're still like 32 bucks for the regular versions, and then you could get as fancy as you want. Here's the Spyderco Para 3. So many people have the Para 3 that hopefully, if you have one, this will give you a good idea. This is not a big knife. It's a small knife. I would even say it could be a pocket dropper. Any knives in this size range, I don't mind dropping them in the pocket. And if you have a Kaiser October, and this is the October, this one has 20 CV blade steel. Both of the new ones that I just showed you, the minis, they have 154 CM blade steel. And let me give you, let me put this right here and then put these down. I really like the choil area. You can, it gives you the option to put your fingers, to hold your fingers wherever you want, which makes it so comfortable there's no flipper in the way making you put your finger somewhere so it's just it's a very very nice option it makes for great ergos so here's the full size regular october and here's the mini october you can see this one has the fuller and the hole this one does not this one i'm able to uh reverse flick can i do it on this one this one might be a little slick uh yeah this one's a little slick i can't really get the traction so, you know, each one has its own special thing. You know, I'm curious. Tell me what you guys think about them. I really like them. I think this is going to be a comfortable carry. It's not a bigger knife. You don't always want a big knife on you. 
I like it. There's no rough spots, no hot spots. It's comfortable. Now, if I'm holding it back here, it's going to be like a three, three and a half finger knife. But, you know, why would you hold it back there? This right here just melts, just melts into the hand. You could choke back for doing some push cuts or if you're doing some pull cuts. Look at that. Your thumb just falls into place. I like this. I mean, I don't have any complaints whatsoever. I can feel the pocket clip just a little bit, but it's not bothering me. I would call it maybe, maybe a warm spot, if that. So this is a really nice knife. Let's go on to the next one. And we're back. Let's get these bad boys out of here and check them out. And like I said, you know, this, this sometimes I'm going to have to break it up and do, do things just a little bit differently in the interest of time or what, depending on what knives come in. I want to keep you guys up to date. And you may have already seen these. They, they were just released. These are the Kaiser Squidward. Yeah, you heard me. You heard me just like SpongeBob. It's the Squidward. Look at that. Would you look at it? That's a pretty slender, sleek knife. Very nice. Let's take a look at this purple one. I like the purple. You know, I would almost get the purple and switch it with the black blade. And look at that. It has like a squid eye. Big old eye looking at you. <laughs> And what? Another reversible pocket clip. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing some good things here. Reversible pocket clips make me happy. Because every time I show one without reversible clips, people are like, what what's going on? So that looks like a that looks like a T6. So we have T6s down here to T8. Very clean, sleek design. This is more of a gentlemanly cut carry. And it has a very different lanyard hole. A place for a lanyard back here. I mean, I guess you could even Hang it from your neck if you wanted to. I'm not sure. I've never seen one in this style. That's very different. And wow, this one has a thick tip. Yeah, you know, it's not always bad to have a thick tip. Insert laughing. <laughs> very nice. It's centered. And look at, oh yeah, that's my favorite gyps. Got some gyps. I like the small gyps. They could be a little more aggressive. That's just me being nitpicky. And it is a front or kind of a front slash top flipper. But there's that side, here's this side, reversible clip. This is the clips, I know these clips work well, so there's not gonna be any problem going in and out of the pocket with this. And can I do the over the top? Let's see. Am I a little over the top? Let's see. Oh yes. Oh, oh yeah, it's a, it's a dropper. Yes, that is super smooth. If you have trouble doing the over the top, this one is going to be one that you do very easily. I'm not even showing you the blade because I'm just sitting here enjoying this. You just barely put your finger up there and your skin grabs a hold of it and it flies open. So here's a here's a look at the blade. Nice, nice satin finish. Ooh, very, very nice. You can see it's 154 cm. And you know, this reminds me of a Tonto, but it's like they got a Tonto and just rounded it off because you have a really straight area and then just a little bit of belly and then it swoops up. Um, it's a, The tip is a little higher than the pivot, but ergos, you can never go wrong with a straight handle. That is some of the best ergos you're ever going to get because it doesn't matter what size your hand is. You can choke up, you can choke back. So let's see. I'm feeling the pocket clip, but the pocket clip is fitting right where my hand bends. So it's not an issue. It's not bothering me at all. That jimping is really nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, this is going to be a nice slice of Reno. It's not a, it's not a long, wide, a long, a long, wide. <laughs> it's not a high blade. So when any, the shorter blade you get, the less geometry you're going to have. So the only time you're going to be a super slicer with a blade that this, this short in this direction is if it's a hollow grind. This one is a straight grind, but wow, this one, man, the action is really good. How about the black one? How's the action on this one? Yeah, look at that. Drops to my thumb. Ooh, and listen, I love that sound. Very snappy. These are gentleman carries. I mean, look at that. Have that in your pocket. That is very sleek looking. Let's give you a little texture vision. These are very, very sleek. I would definitely call this a, uh, you know, one. if you wear a suit, you could have this in your suit pocket. It's not a heavy knife. It's so easy to deploy. I'm not even using the thumb. If you don't like front flippers, and a lot of people don't, this, and I'll tell you, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. This is one that you don't have to have special abilities you just put your thumb on the side and just barely do it. I mean, just barely. It is so easy. And look at this nice swedge. That is very nice. I like how this is not a wimpy knife. For a smaller knife, it is not wimpy. It is a strong blade. They're both solid. They have good lockup. 
Yeah, these, these are really nice. Let me show you some quick size comparisons with the mother knives in this genre, in this range. Now, this one, the purple one, um, I would say its lockup is about, yeah, look at that. I could do that left-handed. Lockup's about 30 to 40%. This one is right there in the middle. The black one's about 50% range. Here's the Kaiser Cormorant, and then of course the QSP Penguin. It's smaller than both of those. This is gonna be a lightweight knife. Now here's one I suspected it would be really close to, and it is very close. Here's the Kaiser SS1, except for you have the Tonto Blade, and then here's the Kaiser Feist. A lot of people collect the Kaiser Feist. So yeah, I mean, it's right along that exact same genre, that same size area. Smaller knife, easy to carry. I bet it would fit well in a lady's pocket. Just to give you an idea, I'll put a couple more up here just for size reference. How about the Civivi Elementum? There you go. It's smaller than the Elementum, about the same length, except for you have the lanyard going on back here. And I'll show you one more. How about the Petrified Fish Scout, which is one of my favorite smaller knives? Yeah, about that same genre. I really like it in the blade length. It's pretty reasonable. You get some good blade length. Look at there, pushing the three inch mark, two and three quarters. And one more thing before we wrap it up. We almost forgot. I almost forgot. Oh yeah, excellent grind on that one. Excellent grind on that one. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, everybody is just slicing nice and clean. Oh yes. So we don't have any issues with any of those edges. So I'm curious what you think about them. Definitely let me know in the comments. That's how you support the channel is if you're not subscribed, you subscribe. And if you've got this far and you forgot, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. I know all you Beast Bladers always support me and the channel. And I so appreciate you guys are so freaking awesome. And you're a pretty, you're a, <laughs> I can't talk. My appreciation for you is way more than you can imagine. <laughs> there, I got it out. <laughs> but until I see you again, and by the way, Bees Blades, live at the Hive, oh right, Friday nights, 8.15 to 11.15 p.m., I can't forget that, right? But leave me, a, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and if you don't have a comment about the knife, tell me what you had for breakfast. But until I see you again or talk to you in the chats, remember to live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.